A heavy police presence tonight in Elgin with very little information. Good evening everyone, I'm Mike Rush. All we know right now is that a suspect is dead and a Travis County Sheriff's Officer is on administrative leave. Right now this neighborhood in Elgin is blocked off. It's Bear Forest Cove right off of Bandera Woods Boulevard and north of Highway 290. That's where we find Mercedes Hernandez. She is live in Elgin after talking to neighbors and to the Travis County Sheriff. And Mercedes, we understand that some of those people you spoke to heard gunshots. Yes, Mike, that's right now me and my videographer out here got to this neighborhood just about eight o'clock. We saw some vehicles from several different law enforcement agencies like the Travis County Sheriff's Office and the Elgin Police Department arriving to this road still blocked off. Now we've also seen those neighbors come up to this line needing to be escorted to their homes by deputies here on scene. Now, as you said, we spoke to those neighbors, some of them telling us this afternoon that they heard at least three or four gunshots. They were still working that out and that this police presence has essentially been here all day. And as you mentioned, Mike, all we know is that a suspect is dead and that a Davis County Sheriff's deputy is on administrative leave. Now that is normal protocol for an officer involved shooting. We have asked if that is the case here, but that has not yet been confirmed. We also asked if anyone was dead other than the suspect. Authorities told us they were unable to answer that question at this time. And with no information yet from officials, there is not much for neighbors out here to know. We did speak to one woman just getting dropped off for the evening who says she was shocked to see the police presence in this normally quiet neighborhood. We also heard from the Travis County Sheriff who could only tell us that the suspect was deceased and this situation overall is tragic. The only thing that I would like to say is this is a tragic incident for everybody involved. I am concerned, but I'm mostly just concerned in the sense of um, like about my neighbors. It, are they OK? What's going on? Now, the sheriff was able to tell us that her agency is not the agency leading this investigation and no official word yet on which agency is. Now, we do know that the Texas Rangers arrived on scene just a little while ago, so we're hopeful to learn some more information for you soon.